Hi everyone, welcome back to Thrift of Living. My name is Kieran. I would like to share with you a new thrift haul today and I haven't been sharing a lot of videos here on my YouTube channel. I feel like once a month, once the school year starts, I always will say to you guys, hey, I haven't been filming a lot because I've been really busy with school, but that's honestly the truth right now. I've just been so busy with getting like back into the routine of school and everything, and um, I just haven't really had a lot of time to edit and film. I also have been having a problem with my computer, so um, I, I sort of figured out a, like a solution for that issue, um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to share and edit things more regularly now. Um, but my goal is to every week share with you a thrift with me video and then a thrift haul and then a thrifted DIY. So I want to try to share, like take you thrifting with me, share with you everything I found and then share a DIY with some of the items that I, that I found at least one DIY. Um, I would love to do more because I have so many projects that I want to do, but I don't want to overwhelm myself at the same time. And I also really want to just be crafting and working in the craft room more as like a way to relax and a way to really like like just like care for myself you know and really just take time to be creative and make that an important part of my day um like I'm on Weight Watchers right now and I'm making sure that I take time every day to really focus on what I'm eating and like really think about you know the, the my meal plan and the foods I'm choosing and everything and I sort of want to do a similar thing with um crafting and being creative. I really want to make sure that I build that creative time in my day um, to to just, you know, relax and work on these projects that I have because I'm, I'm inspired by so many things, especially thrift store finds. And I just, I, ha I usually have a hard time like actually doing the projects. So that's a little intro and letting you guys know what I've been up to. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the thrift with me video that I shared yesterday. That video I actually just edited on my new like computer setup which is pretty much my iPad with an attached keyboard and then a bunch of other things that I need to be able to um to like read the memory cards that I use and everything it's this whole setup so let me know what you think I'm trying to get used to using iMovie in um on my iPad but it's funny that's exact that's actually how I started YouTube I filmed all of my videos on my iPad and edited them edited them on my iPad so um sort of going back to where I started from so yeah, today I would like to share with you part of a thrift haul. I have been finding so many things at the thrift store. I have been um, going thrifting a lot and I have been filming the thrifting that I've been doing. I just haven't been sharing a lot of it with you guys. So this is just going to be sort of a thrift haul of the things that were right near me in the craft room. Um, I'm cleaning up the craft room and I figured I would just share with you guys some of the things that I haven't shared yet. Um, I am looking really forward to this schedule. I really hope it works. My camera just did something new. I don't know what it did. Oh, okay. Um, so Sorry, my camera is, this is still kind of a new camera to me, so I'm still trying to figure it out. But um, I am really looking forward to sharing these thrift hauls with you guys and um, the DIYs and everything. I have some fun like um, wardrobe videos I wanna do and just crafting and I think it's just gonna be really fun. So. Um, Let's just jump right into this thrift haul. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you are these absolutely beautiful teacups and saucers. Let's see if I can get a little closer so you guys can see it. How pretty are these? I found them at a thrift store. They were each $3, and I actually got four sets of them. They're different um, styles, but I thought these were so pretty, and I found a really fun DIY that I could do um, Oh my gosh, what was the DIY? I think it was like a cake plate kind of, like or a small like cupcake plate style DIY. So I thought that would be really fun to do with these. So this is the first one. I love how it looks like it's like hand drawn. It's so pretty. There are no markings on these though, so I don't really know much about them. Then this is the second one in black. So pretty. I love the different colors on this one. They're absolutely beautiful. Then this one in yellow. Again, it's like a hand-drawn kind of floral pattern. It's so pretty. And then last is this blue one. And blue is normally my favorite color. Um, I usually like like a darker blue than this, but honestly, out of the four of these different cups, I really love this black one. It just reminds me of like, um, almost like a like a treasure chest kind of with like a bunch of different jewels all over it. 
I just think it's really, really pretty. So I might try to share a couple DIYs with you guys this week. One of them is going to involve something I'm going to share with you at the end of the video, um, like a piece of furniture, but I could also work on that DIY because I don't think it'll be too too challenging to do. To do. So um, those were $3 a piece and I just thought they were really pretty and fun. Then I found this set of stamps. Really excited to have these. I love having letter and number stamps to use in crafting, but also to use in my classroom. I love working with my kids using these kind of stamps because it's like a fun, interactive way for them to work on writing. Where like, sometimes if we've been doing a lot of writing, you know, they're tired and they want to try something different. You know, this is writing in a sense. It's not working on penmanship, but it is working on spelling and decoding. And they seem like a really great quality set of stamps. And it was only $3, so I was really excited to find those as well. What else do I want to share with you? Then I found this art station. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. I am planning on doing Thriftmas this year where I am really focusing on everything that I'm getting for people for Christmas is going to be from the thrift store. Um, it's going to be things that are secondhand and I'm really focusing on like really thinking about what the person would like and sort of like just finding something that is like really designed for that person. And so um, I have a bunch of items that I want to share with you guys, but they're going to be Christmas presents for people. So I think what I'll do is I'll film everything before I wrap it and then I will um, share with you guys after Christmas the whole haul. But this I thought was going to be a thrift miss uh, gift for my niece, but I think I'll just bring it over to her so she can use it now. It's this really cool art station. And it's actually called a tabletop art station. It says draw, color, and paint. And I have to look and see if everything's inside of it. It was only $4, but it looks like you get like a roll of paper. And this, it says it includes the roll. I don't know if it's already been used. Um, and it has this really cool like paper holder and everything. And then you can just, you know, take the paper and use it to draw or paint. I just thought this was really fun and I know my niece will love to use this. So I thought $4 was a good deal for that. Then I found, okay, I'll show you guys this one. So then I found this really awesome um, set of, oh my gosh, what are these called? Food storage? Storage set, a 20 piece glass set. And a lot of them actually look like they haven't even been opened. and. What's really cool about these is that it has the uh, the lid, the plastic lid that goes on it, and it sort of like snaps into place. And this was only $10. It actually might have been half off on the day that I got it, but I really have been, I've been looking for like um food store. Yeah, like if you look, like here's one of the, the bowls, and it still has the plastic right on it. Um, and then the lid like unsnaps like that. I think I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna wash them obviously before I use them, but I feel like these are, this is a really, really great deal. I'll have to look and see if I can find how much um, these would be new. But I think everything's here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It might be missing a couple things. Oh, actually, you know what? I wonder if the people who, I don't know. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It might actually be missing a couple pieces, but that's fine. Um, I thought that $10 or $5, I can't remember which one it was, I thought that was a really good deal for a really nice um, food storage set. And um, I've been doing Weight Watchers now for 42 days, which I'm really excited about. Weight Watchers like tracks how many days you've been um, tracking your food for and your, and your meals and your activity and your water and your veggie intake, everything. And so today is day 42 for me, which is amazing. Um, so proud of myself for that. So having something like this will definitely be good for um, lunch prep that I've been doing for school every day. So that was that. Oh, so I think when Sean saw this, he was like, are you sure you're gonna use this? Um, and I'm never actually sure I'm going to use it, but I really want to try to really use everything that I have. But um, you guys know that I really like um, the idea of hosting parties and having people, you know, come over to the house and doing like get togethers and everything. And um, you might, may know that I've been struggling with severe OCD for a long time and that's made a lot of stuff really hard for me. Um, I'm recently sort of like in the process of, I don't want to say like healing because that's not the right word, but um, not, I don't know. It's like, I'm in a good place right now, I guess I could say, and um, I've shared some videos on this channel about that. All of that to say, 
I am starting to feel like I can do the things that I couldn't do previously. Um, and one of them is like having people over at the house and preparing food for people. And so I found this really cool silver plated buffet caddy that I thought was really, really neat. And I love this idea for having on a buffet because that's definitely one of the things, you know, when you have a bunch of people over and you're trying to figure out where to put the silverware, you know, so having something like this where it's all organized in one space, um, I think will be, oops, sorry, things are falling over. I think that'll be really, really helpful. And this was $6. I don't think it was half off, but I really, really love the style. And I just want to use it. I just want to use it to have a party and have people come over and I don't know, like, get silverware to like it sounds so silly but you know since I have been so sick for a while like I haven't been able to do all of those things that I had you know wanted to do and so you know the thoughts of being able to have people come over and entertain people and be like a hostess it's like really exciting for me so um I want to use this for that all right what's next my hair is like starting to my headband's starting to slide. I can't remember if I shared this with you guys. I found this like fruit holder at the thrift store. Um, it was $5, but I really liked the gold style. I thought it was really pretty and like classic, but like simple at the same time. Um, and gold is definitely one of the colors that we use a lot in our home decor. It was, it was $5, um, and I think I'm going to use it in the kitchen, but I also might use it in the dining room. I'm really not sure. I eat a lot of bananas. Bananas are one of my favorite fruits, and um, so I definitely could use this to um, organize the bananas. Would that be the right word? To hold the bananas? I don't really know. Um, so really excited about this. I just shared on Instagram about this really cool workout find that I just found, and these shoes are called Jumping Jacks. Look at how cool these are. So did you guys ever have like moon shoes when you were a kid? Like it's kind of like that idea, but pretty much what you do is you wear them and I put sneakers inside of them to go with it. Um, you wear them and then you do these like workouts and you pretty much like jump the whole time. At least that's my understanding of it. These were, I think, let's see, $8.00. These were $8, but I've seen these videos on, um, I've seen, I've seen the videos where people use these on like YouTube and Facebook, and I've always wanted to try it. And so I think what I'm going to do is use these. They fit me perfectly. Like, like seriously, they, they're exactly my size. Um, and I think I'll just find some videos on YouTube of the different workouts and try doing that. I just have to figure out where I'm going to do it because I don't want to fall and that's an important thing um, and it's also starting to get cold here in New York so I'm like I don't know if I'll be able to do this you know before spring you know or, or until spring again um, but I will insert a little video of when I first tried them um, and Sean actually recorded the video so I will insert that video here so you guys can see what that process was like Hi everyone, so I wanted to share with you a new thrift store find. I found these shoes at the thrift store and they're like a jumping shoe. What's the brand? I think it's on the back. Can you see it, Sean? Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. So they're like this like workout shoe that you do like, I think it's cardio and you just kind of like jump around. But these were only $8. They're like perfectly my size. And watch, are you ready? Jump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fall, but like, guys, remember moon shoes in like the like late 90s? I never had a pair, but like I always wanted a pair, and I feel like this is what moon shoes must have been like. So I'm going to try to find some YouTube videos and try to do a workout. I just can't do it down here because the ceiling's too low. But yeah, fun find. Really now there are two more items I would like to share with you. They're, they are the same thing, except it's just two of the same item. I went to the thrift store yesterday with Sean and we actually found two nightstands that we're very excited to have because our bedroom, um, it's, it's a decent size, but it's not like huge. And we've been trying to find some like narrow nightstands. Right now we are using two stools um, because they're just like a decent um, width for the space. They don't block the windows too much and they just, they seem to fit pretty well but they're not our favorite. They don't fit a lot on like the stool part. We don't have a lot of room for items like my glasses and you know our cell phones and stuff like that and like a, a night lamp and stuff like that. Um, is that what they're called? A night lamp? Lamp? A night lamp? 
I don't know, an, like a, a, a bedside lamp, maybe? <laughs> um, so this style seems perfect. We really like the sort of like wood details to it, um, but it does have like like a faux wood, like almost like a wallpaper on it. And so I do want to paint them um, to sort of match the decor in our, in our master bedroom, which is pretty much like we have black and white, some like mustard yellow, navy blue. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is paint them black and um, probably spray paint them. I'm gonna to try to find like a matte spray paint to paint them black. And I also have another thrifted item that I'll share with you guys. Um, and, and then I'll probably try to paint that the same color as well. And that's sort of like the project that is my goal for this week, the one that I wanna share with you guys, um, like the beginning, like finished product of. So um, these, each of the tables, they were actually a different price. One of them was $5.99 and the other one was $6.99. Um, they do have a little tiny bit of damage to them, so I'll just have to do a little bit of repairs, but nothing too serious. So um, I hope to share that video with you later on in the week. And um, we're really excited to find them. I hope they work and I hope they do well in our space. And that's it for today's thrift haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I've been finding at the thrift store. If you enjoyed my thrift with me video, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up as well and let me know that you enjoyed this video as well. If you would like to see that DIY, I'm hoping to share that later on in the week and I hope you will come back and see that video. And if you wanna see more of what I'm doing, you can follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.